what's up facebook youtube what's up guys today is labor day no work on the schedule for today actually i had one job um that i was scheduling for today and my uh client she called me she said hold up courtney is it today labor day i mean not today <laughs> is it that monday labor day and I looked at the calendar. And I said, you know, it is. She said, oh, no, let's not do it on Labor Day. Let's do it another day. So I'm going to do her tomorrow. But, guys, the point of this video is uh, being in the service industry, I see a lot of people, a lot of, you know, uh, cleaners, you know, especially cleaners. They're always, you know, just going 24-7, 365. And one thing that tells me that if you have, if you're working – those type of hours, you know, um, and especially when it's mostly mostly of them, you know, themselves doing it, you know, owner operator. It, what it tells me is they have no control over their schedule. And the reason why I know this, because, again, I've worked for a lot of those different business models. I used to work for certain customers when I first started my business. And one thing I'm, I will say, most customers or some customers, I ain't going to say most, they don't respect your time. OK, when they say jump, that's when they want you to jump. And unfortunately, in the service industry, a lot of people, uh, a lot of companies are like that. They have no choice but to jump when these uh, uh, certain customers or property, property management companies or real estate companies, when they say jump, they have to jump. You know, they call them, you know, um, two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> they they got to go do it. Uh, they got to go work on Sundays. So a lot of times, you know, when, when we see people talking about, oh, I'm working, I'm working, you know, we always working. A lot of times it's not by choice. You know, it's not by choice. It's, it's because they have to. And that's one thing about me. I've realized that if, if you have no control over your schedule, if you have no control over your time, do you really control your business? No, you don't. You don't. Because every time one of those customers or companies say jump, you have to jump. Okay? You have to jump. And then what we'll do is, you know, we'll justify it. We'll justify, you know, to make it, you know, a good thing. When, it's, when, when it comes to your time, it's really not. If you have no control, especially especially when you, when you own your own business, you know, when you, when you are... You're supposed to be the shot caller. You know, I don't work on Sundays. You know, very, very, very rare when you see me working on Sundays. You know, I've been going hard five, six days a week. Why am I, you know, you know, uh, seven days a week? And then you have to wake up. You have no time. You have no time to, to relax your mind. You have no time to figure other things out. That's when I start making more money is when I slow it down. You know, stop working so hard. You know, guys doing five, six jobs a day, you know, seven days a week, 365, working on holidays. You know, you, you don't have time, guys, to really think, you know, about other things that you can do. And that's when I started, you know, more opportunities start coming when I start slowing down, when I start giving my, myself time to, to, to figure things out, to see other things. Because if you're always doing the same thing all day long, Seven days a week, 365, you really don't have time to, to, to focus on other things. You really don't have time to do other things because you're just always just pushing that one. Just whatever you're doing, you're just always doing it. And you're just, you know, possibly missing out on opportunity. So this is my thing, guys, is that, you know, evaluate your business. Again, I've been on that side before. I know how it feels. Um, I did not like it. You know, certain customers, when you work for those customers at the bottom, um, the only thing they hold against you is time. Well, if you can't do it today, I find somebody else. And, and, and unfortunately, that puts a lot of people, you know, you know, uh, to the point where they they go do it because they they probably need that money. You know, they're working for these customers that make them feel bad if they don't come do it. But now the type of customers I work for, guys, they don't even work me working late. I be I be telling customers I um we set our last appointment between five and six. Courtney, you sure you guys want to come that late? We can do it another day. 
Courtney, I don't want you to work on the weekend. Spend time with your family. Courtney, I don't want you to work on holidays. You know, <laughs> spend time with your family. You know, when I go on vacation, my customers love to see me go on vacation. Courtney, we'll see you when you get back. Spend time with your family. So it, it, so that just shows that it, it, it boils down to who you are working for and how do they respect you as an individual and also your business and your time. If they don't respect you, your time, or your business, I mean, you know, uh, some people have no choice. But, you know, unfortunately, I end up making a choice and it feels a whole lot better on this side. So, all right, guys. Hopefully this video can help someone. See you in the next one.